summer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know why, but I've always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. And it appears we're heading for a relatively mild rest of December across the continental United States. So where's all the cold air? I'll let you know, coming up next. Welcome back, everybody, to the Weather Nerds YouTube page. I'm meteorologist Greg Majeski. And before we get started, hey, I'd like to thank all the 744 subscribers now on the channel. We continue to grow, heading toward 1,000. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please consider it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give me a thumbs up or a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm as we continue to grow this channel. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the things you need to know for this edition. First, we're going to go ahead and take a look at where the current coldest air is sitting across the northern hemisphere. A lot of it is bottled up in Siberia, for example. We'll show you that here in a second. We'll take a look at the Arctic air forecast over the next 10 days and kind of get an idea where some of the movement will be taking place. We'll also take a look at the jet stream forecast because it's the jet stream that kind of causes where that cold air will be setting up and where it'll be going. And then finally, we'll take a look ahead and take a sneak peek at what you can expect temperature-wise on Christmas Day. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at those current temperatures. Now, of course, a country like Russia is used to cold air, but if you could imagine the continental United States and then some seeing temperatures running below zero, that's how expansive this cold air is currently bottlenecked up in Siberia. Take a look at some of these readings, a minus 35, minus 35, minus 22, minus 18 and these are just they're kind of the stations are few and far between here but as we go ahead and move over here toward uh areas of eastern europe even they are getting in on some of the cold air as well uh you're seeing a, there's a one degree temperature here's a minus 22 uh 10 so even some of the uh eastern countries there uh getting over to yugoslavia yugoslavia is sitting right in here I mean, not yugoslavia it's ukraine i should say right here uh they're they are, some of the cold air it was in europe earlier in the month has kind of retreated a little bit, but it just shows you how expansive. We're talking thousands of miles covering from one end of the continent to the other with this very, very frigid air. Now the question is, will this frigid air be on the move? Let's take a look at the 10-day forecast. So we're taking a uh, bird's eye view of the northern hemisphere here. And again, a kind of illustration of what's going on with this cold air. Let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit and look at the expanse of this very frigid air across Siberia. We're literally going from one end of the continent to the other. Some very, very cold air indeed. If you remember last year, right before Christmas, we had a big uh, Siberian outbreak that happened. We had high pressure that was kind of setting up. Uh, off the coast of Alaska here. We had another one here off Iceland that set up as well, very strong one. And that kind of allowed it, these ridges to kind of act as a funnel and bring in that cold air uh, across the continental United States. That was last year. Now that's the, not the situation we're looking at for this year. So as I progress this out the next 10 days, what you're gonna notice is some of this cold air is gonna probably make its way into Korea and Japan. There's Japan right there. This is Korea right there. I know it's upside down, just so you have a point of reference. And some of this cold air that's uh, way far off toward uh, areas of Eastern Europe is gonna to start to retreat a little bit uh, as we go forward into time. So let's go ahead and bring it forward here as I'm gonna take you all the way out to December the 21st. Look as that cold air kind of progresses a little bit, starts to retreat. And we kind of get an elongation of the cold air as it sets through time. You get a couple of little minor cold snaps coming to the United States, but nothing uh, nothing to really write home about uh, briefly. But as we head toward the 21st, just look at how warm or mild, we'll say. We won't call it warm, but mild the temperatures are. You're not seeing those blues where you see a big, large swath of the country seeing uh, with uh, temperatures uh, below freezing. And all the cold air is kind of locked up right in here. Uh, for the moment. Now the question is going to be as we go into January, does some of that cold air kind of come in or not? we got a little ways to watch that to see how that's going to work out. But let's take a look at the jet stream forecast because it's the jet stream that is driving where the cold air is going to be setting up and you're going to see why we're expecting milder temperatures as we head closer and closer to Christmas. So as we go ahead and take a look at what's going on way up in the atmosphere, the jet stream, that's what kind of drives the weather across the country. We're tracking where those ridges and troughs set up. 
and that's where you get your storm systems to develop. So as you take a look what's going on on Tuesday, December the 12th, you've got a ridge here in the west. You've got a dip in the jet stream. That's what's bringing the colder temperatures across uh, portions of the eastern portion of the United States. Here's subtropical right through here. Uh, as I step forward into time, uh, we've got another system that's going to be dipping down as we head into early next week. So I'm going to take this all the way out to about uh, Tuesday of next week. So you're going to freeze it right there on the 19th. So you can see another dip in the jet stream there. Uh, that's going to bring in some uh, cooler air here across the eastern third of the United States. Uh, and you've got a little low system here off the west coast. It looks like it's going to cut off once again. That's something we've seen repeatedly uh, through the fall and now heading toward winter. And as I go forward into time again, uh, what you're going to notice as we go into the following week is the main jet stream has kind of left the country. We've got a little bit of, a, of what appears to be a split flow here with the jet stream kind of doing this and then kind of doing this. Uh, so a little bit of a split, a split flow. you got a, a little upper low again down here off the coast of California. So that's going to mean that most of the country is going to be on the warm side. We'll have warm, temp uh, m relatively mild temperatures. We won't call it warm. We'll call it milder with above normal temperatures across most of the country as we're heading toward the weekend prior to Christmas. So uh, for snow lovers, that's not a good thing. And it looks like the pattern is also looking relatively dry because we don't have any big dips in the jet stream to drive the development for any storm systems. So that said, let's take a preview and take a look at the GFS model and see what the projected forecast temperatures will be on Christmas Day. Now, of course, this is still about 13 days away, so uh, this will change a little bit as we progress closer into time and closer to Christmas Day. But as we can see right now, we're seeing some colder temperatures across New England on Christmas morning. And of course, the Inner Mountain Rest a little cold, but look at these temperature readings here in the High Plains. You're talking temperatures in the 40s, Christmas morning, late December in Minnesota, in North Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa. I mean, we're talking way above normal for this time of year. Uh, relatively cool across the south, but even the, these readings are a little bit above normal as well uh, for that morning. And as we go for the afternoon, as we warm up to about 2 in the afternoon, uh, again, a lot of the country not seeing with the frigid temperatures. When I remember last Christmas, it was 6 degrees down in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're going to be way above that uh, as we go into Christmas Day right now. Now, I'll just take this model out to the end. It is kind of hinting at another uh, cold front coming down and some cold air finally coming into the United States as we head into, say, the 27th. But again, this is long range and is subject to change. So for right now, uh, based off the latest projections, what we just showed you here on the jet stream and everything else, it looks like things will be looking a bit on the warm side for Christmas Day. All right, that's a look at your forecast for now. As always, thank you for being a subscriber. And if you like what you see and if you want to become a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up or a comment down below. Helps with the algorithm as I'm trying to build this weather YouTube page. You got to have the numbers, especially if you want to do real time severe weather coverage. If you help me out, please subscribe to the channel. That's a look for right now. We'll see you guys on the next report. Until then, take it easy and have a great day.